Joining me now on Tea and Biscuits is Tisha J. Miles. She is the creative and owner of Tisha J. Photography. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So first of all, for people who aren't familiar with your business, tell us a little bit about your business, how you got started, and really where you were in your life when you decided to start this business. Of course, of course. So hi, everyone. My name is Tisha J. My pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, and I like to start by saying, I am. I love powerful stories. I'm a mom of three struggling plants and a temperamental shit zoo. Um, but at first, I am a photographer, um, and I am the creative behind Tisha Day Photography, a Baltimore-based photography service that focuses on families, couples, and brands. It started about 2014, I would say. I'm adopted, and my best friend was like, "You're good at taking photos." I was like, "No, I, no." So I'm not. And then let's fast forward to 2018. I took the camera up seriously and realized that I wanted to serve families, uh, families primarily um, because I didn't have memories when I grew up because I was adopted of having photos and I didn't want people to experience that. So that's where the focus came from. That's where my business came from. And then we currently have the hashtag where she take that campaign that bridges photography and community to get platforms to families, couples, or brands who usually wouldn't have one. Okay, so I love that because a lot of times people continuously sort of tell us what our gifts are. Oh, you're good at this. And we'll sort mm -hmm. of like push it to the side. So um, that's very cool that, that that clicked for you. So how can people find out more about you and your business? Right, so you can either follow the hashtag where she take that, everything as it's spelled um, on any platform, whether it's Pinterest, Instagram, any socials. But if you don't have socials, you can follow me on www.tishajphotos.com. I have all my information on there, all my sessions and my portfolio where you can see the families and people that I have worked with. To get to know me more though, I'm very transparent on my Instagram and my Facebook, Tisha J Photography. And you really can follow the behind the scenes, the ups and the downs um, and how we have navigated and pivoted through this pandemic and what we do every day with our photography. And this certainly is a crazy time for, for any is. business, but I, I can't imagine what it's like for photography. So for people who, yes. you know, they want, you know, your services, they're looking for someone um, in the photography industry. Talk about who your ideal client is and, and how they yeah. tend to find you and how you tend to find them. Right. So my ideal client is a family or a couple or anyone showcasing love. Um, whether that's within or in a personally. And I say that because the reason why we started was to make um, photos accessible, affordable, and to remove the barriers and create more opportunities. So I'm looking for a family who doesn't think they have what it takes to take photos. A lot of people do not want to get in front of the camera, whether that's some insecurity, whether that's because they didn't have the opportunity presented to them, or they just don't know how important a photograph can be in 10, five, even two years. And so I work with families and couples primarily um, that want to have that last impact. So when they do look at that photograph, they can tie it to a memory. And I reach out to families and say, hey, the holidays are coming up. Um, look at my rates, look at my sessions. But even then in my mailing list, I always mail out tips to do in-home photos. But that's with your iPhone. Um, I'm really keen on building that community. So those are my ideal clients. And I keep that relationship through my email list. Or I do a lot of check-ins before we uh, take photos. My process is simple, but I always make sure you're comfortable. And you can tell just in the few minutes of talking to you that you have a very generous spirit. And, and you can you. tell that this is a very a genuine passion for you, which, which yes, is super important. Is. Um, so as you look back at sort of where you started and where you are now. What have been some of the best parts of the journey and what have been some of the, the bigger challenges? I say the best part, right? Actually, let's let's start with a positive and I give you a positive. The best part is that when pe people see how beautiful they are, it's, it's the moment that happens when you take a shot. And, then, and I show them, they're like, oh, that's me? Yes, that's you. The camera can capture everything. They can mm -hmm. capture the outfit, they can capture their hair. But how are you feeling within? That's gonna come through the eyes. And I want people to know that they're beautiful every day. Society has a way of making us feel like we're not, that we're not in our lane or, or that we're not as well off as someone else. But in front of my camera, you're you. And the best part is seeing that moment when people realize how beautiful they are. Um, the hardest part of this journey is 
saying that I'm doing okay, accepting mm-hmm. a compliment when it comes to me, because I always feel like I can do better. Yeah, I, I work with families and couples specifically, um, and it's different from fashion photography, commercial photography. And sometimes I feel like, oh, maybe I'm, I'm betting myself too small, um, especially in a society where Black women need to always overcompensate. Like, am I doing enough? Mm-hmm. And so that negative self-talk is something I have been working through throughout this whole journey. And, and I'll end with when people receive their photos, and they say, these are amazing. I just like to say you made them amazing. You, you helped us get there. And that's the best part. Uh, when I take the photo and then when they get their photos, because it's like, that's your treasure. You, you can cherish that forever. And you, don't, you never have to question um, that taking the photos because when we're gone, that's all we have left. I'm, I'm telling you, and I have so much respect for what you do because a lot of us Thank can you. sort of see a moment but not really, not really see it. And before mm-hmm. you know it, it's gone. And we were like, oh man, I wish I had a picture of that. I wish I could recapture that moment. So you're definitely right. doing very precious work. I definitely appreciate Thank you. you. Um, what about in your business journey? How has that been for you? What sort of advice would you give yourself knowing what you know now when you first started? Mm-hmm. I would say I could have started my business in 2014, but I had to believe in myself first. So that's why it took me to 2018, right? And investing in a business coach is so, so important. I didn't realize how important it was, but I don't know everything. Right. And investing in a business coach helped me. How do you scale your marketing? What does your content look like? What do the colors you wear say about you? What is your brand? Um, who is your audience? And so a business coach really helped me um, focus in on what I need to do to make my business successful. Um, and then take your time and protect mm-hmm. yourself whether that's an LLC, whether that's a trademark, protect everything you have um, because you don't want anyone to take your idea. Your intellectual property is so important. So when I finally got where she take that hashtag, where she take that trademark, now I can use it on merchandise. Now I can use that all over the internet and knowing it was an original hashtag, I wanted to keep that. So definitely a business coach and protecting um, your business around the board. And you're really dropping some serious knowledge there because for a lot of people, <laughs> you, you have this thing that you want to do. You're like, I really want to help people and serve. So you have the, the passion aspect of it, but the business right. aspect of it is super important. And a lot of times, you know, new entrepreneurs- We forget that. Prepared for it. So mm-hmm. I can definitely vouch for, for getting a, a business coach. Uh, I myself got one when I started my business as well. So right. definitely very, very important. It's so um, needed. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Now, obviously there are going to be times when we're going to have our highs and lows uh, mm-hmm. in the business journey. What are some of the ways or some of the things that you relied on to really help you stay encouraged in those times? I say the number one thing is my faith, but also faith without works, it doesn't work. So my faith for sure um, helped me realize where I wanted to go. And I had to do the work, even if nobody was watching. Mm. Um, and that, that helped me by having a good and sound friend group. Letting people know my wins, but letting people know my losses. Asking clients in the community that I have, what do you want to see from me? Not assuming what you want me want to see, but asking you directly so I can cater to your needs. And especially this year, I couldn't do any work. Between March and August, I was closed. So what did that look like? That looked like making eBooks for how to take photos in the home. That looked like just having conversations. I'm building my in-home studio. Watch, watch me pay and have questions, being very creative. But sometimes we feel as though we money is what keeps our business afloat. Yes, it does. But what do you do when the money stops coming in? What keeps pushing you forward? And that was my faith, my passion, and my friend group. Um, and what kind of work I need to be doing during this downtime because the work still needs to get done. And so that helped me get through the low parts of my business. But knowing I haven't even reached the amount of success of where I'm going yet. I'm, I'm trying to build communities. I'm trying to make changes and bring change to people's lives and serve. And that in itself is what's going to keep my business afloat. And it's true because a lot of people, when they think of being, being fruitful, they think finances, but there's a lot of right. ways to be generous and to have you benefit and have your customers benefit. Like you said, you've, you've pivoted. You, you had to get very creative. I did. What you were doing during the pandemic. Um, so I just want to ask you, What's the best piece of advice that you've received? Because a lot of people have that sort of aha moment. They're like, 
that's what made it click for me. Was there something that did that for you? Yes, yes. It was when my business coach asked me, what was my story? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I blocked so much off of my life because of being adopted and going through that, that essence of trying to feel belonging from the people you want to like to, to hold you close. And she was like, that's it. And then she said, the market isn't oversaturated because your purpose is your own. And I said, you're right. You're, you're right. There's always going to be a family out there, a couple out there, and there's always going to be someone I can relate to. So not only can I learn from them, but we can learn from each other and build ourselves up. But definitely your purpose is yours and the market is never oversaturated. And I, I love that because yeah. a lot of people, that sort of sense of belonging and looking for that sense of Ooh, belonging yes. can take you down some very, you know, difficult, hard road. So can. I can definitely connect. For me, like my my family's all in England and in Ghana. So my sense of belonging, I'm you know, like the Sting song in Englishmen in New York. You kind of feel like, oh, you know, I'm not really sure where my tribe is. Right. But then I was able to connect with other people who, you know, sort of had relocated or had their own sense of feeling disconnected in some way mm. and and we built a friendship from that you know and there's a lot of love that can be built so there's a lot of love that can be built yeah so very important people really yeah. shouldn't be shy to tell their story but like you said that also involves knowing your own story so that you're able to share it with others that exactly knowing your own story because when you know it you you can walk boldly in any room any room because someone in there will relate to you because you relate to you first so definitely well, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure talking thank to you. Thank you. This is amazing. TCJ Photography. You all make sure you follow her. One more time, um, if you could leave your, your website information so people can reach it. I want to make sure that nobody misses you if they're trying to find you. Yes, please follow me at Tisha J Photography. And you can go to my website at www.tishajphotos.com. Photographs that make you smile. All right. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you.